for dust collection accessories and fittings. Visit grizzly.com. Microjig, maker of the gripper. Work safer, work smarter. From this piece of wood, I'm going to get the base of the drill press clamp and also the portion that rests on the actual table of the drill press. For these three small pieces that I just cut, one's going to go in the back of the clamp in a dado and one's going to go in the front of the clamp in a dado and the center one is going to be able to move forward and back and it's going to be the jaw and it's going to be screw advanced with a threaded dowel. Before I can glue these in, I need to make a threaded hole in one side for the threaded dowel. I'm going to tap for threads in this 7 8 inch hole with a 1 inch tap and I'm going to lubricate the hole with a little bit of boiled linseed oil. With the one inch die, I'm going to form threads on this one inch dowel and I'm going to lubricate the dowel with linseed oil. Because the movable jaw doesn't go into a dado, it just needs to be trimmed by a little bit. This is the back side of the movable jaw. I need to recess for a washer and a screw. Now I need to make the component to go on the side, which will enable me to lock this down at a specific angle. At the router table, I'm going to make a slot all the way through the center of this component and this will enable this piece to travel on the threaded rod and this will be used to tighten the clamp down at whatever angle I need. Now I can glue these pieces into their datas.
If you'd like to build your own tilting drill press clamp, I'll have the plans available for a small fee. But if you become a patron of Garage Woodworks, the plans are free. And I hope you guys will go and check out my Patreon page and see all the other things that I offer. And if this is your first time here, I hope you guys would consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.